Get a better broadcast, podcast and video voice. Hello, I'm Peter Stewart. Thank you for listening. We're midway through our series of daily podcasts talking about mocking up your scripts so they're easier to understand. If they're easier to understand, it means you're going to be much more confident and indeed competent when you come to read them out. So yesterday we were mocking up for questions. Today, mocking up for tone. Now, It's usually straightforward to record a commercial voiceover in the correct tone because you'll have a chance to read it in advance, rehearse it out loud, focus on that, say, single 30 seconds reading before the recording starts. Trickier is news reading. Because in news reading, you have story after story after story after story, all of varying content. And even though you will have read each one ahead of time, you need to hit the first few words of each news story with just the right tone from the get-go and word one when you flip over to the next screen and you immediately see that next story, you've got to go for it. To indicate at a glance the tone of a voice in which a script should be read, Presenters often used to draw an appropriate kind of emoji at the top of each story, a a smiley face, a frown, a sad face and so on. That's obviously impossible if reading from a teleprompter or a computer screen, which does cause a little bit of a problem. So what can you do? Well, you could possibly invest in one of those apps that I recommended a week or so ago, which allows you to annotate your screen. Alternatively, it's just a matter of being able to read ahead of time. And maybe you've got a split screen system where you're able to see, yes, the scripts, but also the next script slug, so the name of the next story that is about to come up, so you can get ready to set your pitch and your tone correctly as soon as that story appears on your screen and you say the first few words. We're going to be talking much more about tone in a few weeks' time. I'm Peter Stewart. Thank you for listening. Tomorrow, marking up for... Is there anything else you're probably thinking? He's talked about tone, and he's talked about questions, and inflection, and he's talked about emphasis, and all sorts of different things, like phrasing as well, and and, and, and the use of dashes and ellipses in scripts to break up phrases. What on earth more is there for him to talk about? Well, tomorrow on the show, we're going to be talking about marking up for a faster read. Yeah, pace is another really important element when it comes to reading out loud. So we're going to be talking a little bit about pace tomorrow, the, the, the speed of a read, but also we're going to be talking about pace a little bit later on in, gosh, well, actually, it's scheduled. I haven't written it yet, but ooh, three or four months' time, we're going to be talking about the pace of a read, the speed, fast, slow, and also pauses as well, as Get A Better Broadcast podcast and video voice continues. From London, I'm Peter Stewart.